Hi guys, a hey, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening <laughs> to some of you, and good night <laughs> to some of you. Anyway, I wanted to uh, speak to you this morning. Uh, the reason I smile is because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Um, I thank God for his word. I thank God for Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the power that lies inside of us that we get from the Holy Spirit. And that power is to help enable us in areas of weakness, to guide us, to give us strength, to direct our paths. And I want to share a little personal story uh, to all of you that I've recently been dealing with, and uh, it's my heart disease. Um, I have heart disease, and it's genetic. There's nothing I can do about it. Just kind of like Adam and Eve, they, they kind of messed things up from the beginning. And that wasn't God's original plan, but God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish. And this morning I stand before all of you throughout the whole world to say, God is a good God. And in my personal uh, um, situation with heart disease, um, I've been plagued here recently with some uh, ups and downs with medicine and things of that nature. Uh, but I've also been faithful and strengthen through these same ongoing trials. As I tell all of y'all, never give out, never give in, and never give up. And that's me right now. Uh, you, many of you have not seen me on this uh, Facebook uh, or social media much in the last couple of weeks because I feel personally I've been under attack by Satan. And uh, for all of you, whenever you make a declaration in life that you're gonna do more things for the Lord, then you can expect Satan to do whatever he can to shut you up. And I have been in deep prayer. Uh, I have been petitioning God along with other prayer warriors to help me through this, this trial. And I've been strengthened through it. And, and I've got so much that I wanna say, uh, perhaps, God willing, I'll put it in a book someday. But I don't want anybody to give up. We're in this together. I know right now that every single one of you out there have something going on that you don't want the world to know about. But you know what? I've decided that I'm just going to air mine out because you know what? God is faithful. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all things that wants to come against me, wants to come against you, and wants to come against God's rule in our lives. We cannot let our day-to-day -day trials defeat us. We cannot let Satan defeat us. We cannot let the lack of what we have to feed us because God says that I will that you have life and have it more abundantly. That's in his word. And what I've discovered through this experience and these trials is that God has made a provision for all of us. And the reason most of us don't have what he says that he's given us is because we have not gotten the, uh, the confidence, or we are not aware of how important the Word of God is. All we have to do is to speak it. God spoke a word, and He spoke this world into existence, and that same word is in us. So when we speak things, we need to start speaking them into existence. I'm strong in the Lord and the power of His might. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to have to have a little pain, but God births his biggest blessings through pain. And I don't understand that part, but I just believe that. And I'm going to leave you with this. Don't give out. Don't give in. Don't give up. And I'm going to continue to hang in there. My heart is good. There's no new issues. My plumbing's good. My electrical is good. We're just trying to get this medicine right. And we're going to do that. We're working on that because I've prayed for wisdom. I pray for godly intervention. And yes, I'm going to work. I'm going to push through. I am going to continue to get through. You say, why? Because the word of God says it. You have not because you ask not. And when we ask for things for, from our Father, we must ask in faith. All right? And I want to encourage you. If you have a need today, ask in faith. God He's ready to work on our behalf, but he's already given us the word. And all we need to do is read it, declare it, claim it, name it, and expect it. You with me? So the Bible verse that I've been using that's helping me through this situation that continues to give me strength and empowerment 
is Philippians 4 through 8. And it basically says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And what we all need when we go through our trials, we need to be at peace. And we have to know, don't worry. God's got it. You're okay. <laughs> You're not about to die. Don't give up. Yes, you've got pain, but you have to make sure that when you ask others to pray, you need to go to people who are prayer warriors. We are in spiritual warfare out here, and Satan is constantly trying to attack us, attack our faith, our health, our finances, our careers, our thought processes. You with me? Our joy. And you know what? We've got to rebuke that joker and not let him steal our joy. Not let him steal it. And that's a trick of the devil. And I've, de I've decided I'm going to declare God's word over all things. And I'm believing in supreme healing over all things. I believe that all things are possible for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to name it and claim it. And today, I want to encourage all of you, don't give in. <laughs> don't give out. Don't give up. You with me? God is good. And I'm about to get out of here, and I'm about to go get this. Get what? I'm going to get whatever God has in store for me today. All right? And you can too. So today, I want all of you to regroup. Get in the Word. If you got an ailment, illness, you have a lack, you have issues in your marriage, and you're... Uh, you know, when dealing with your siblings, you have an issue on the job, you have an issue that's just mentally depleting, take it to the Lord. Ask for wisdom. Get in his word. Study his word. Believe his word. Proclaim his word. And get other God-fearing men and women to pray over you and to work with you. But by no means, don't try to do it by yourself. All right? We need each other. One family of believers trusting in the Lord for all things in Christ Jesus. I love you. I'm with you. Put a smile on it, okay? If it makes you frown, put a smile on it because God is good. Y'all be blessed. Have a beautiful day. Hoop on her. Sign it off.